So let's start bringing your palms together, choosing if you want to be in a seated position or in a reclined position, legs crossed or narrow knee, anything you need showing up for you in this now moment. Close the eyes and breathe. into your breath, breathing in and out through the nose. Allow the breath to start to smooth out and calm the body. Relaxing through the shoulders, relaxing through the face, the jaw. Release tension on all your out breaths. Soft through your navel center, grounding into the sitting bones. Arriving again into each moment. Draw the right shoulder and ear closer to one another, stretching the left side of the neck. And gently rounding through center, soften everything and move to the left side. Noticing any tension arising and being released. Be present to your body. Let's take a full breath and come back up through center. Open up the eyes. Take this into a wide child's pose. Knees out wide, arms stretch out long. Soften through the heart, relax the forehead down. Take a moment here to pause. Relax the hands, relax the shoulders. Soften through the belly. Releasing through the tailbone, releasing through the upper back. Allow your body to be still. Take a moment here. Add on a personal intention to your practice. Soften, release. to a tabletop position. Stack your palms under the shoulders, lengthen through the spine. Keep the knees underneath the hips, feet are untucked. Inhale to drop the belly, soften the heart, gaze up. Exhale, round the spine, press the earth away. Maybe even walk your hands in closer, stretch the upper back and pull the chin in. Inhale, open up, release, find cow pose. And exhale, round the spine, really rotate, press the back body away. Walk your hands back forward, tuck the toes under, hover the knees one inch off the earth, and start to drop the heels, pedal out the feet. Smooth, deep breath here. Sinking into the heels, softening the heart down. Release the head and neck, so shaking them out. Allowing your body time to feel this pose. Time to settle in. Grounding into the heels and the hands, smoothing out the breath. Close your eyes. Let's soften in. Dropping the knees anytime you need to. Taking this into a child's pose whenever you need a reset button in your practice. Start to lengthen out the breath a little further. Breathe in and out. Smooth, deep breath. Let's start to rock forward. Start at the heels. Pull the energy through the thighs. Rock forward. High plank position. Pause here. And exhale. Lift the hips up and back. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Smooth. Rotate forward on the mat. Pull the navel in. Energize through the hands. Exhale. Downward facing dog. This time, inhale. Gaze forward. Bend the knees. Empty the breath. Step slowly to the top of the mat. Keep space between the feet. Find a halfway lift on your inhale. Palms on chins. Exhale, hug in, release down, soften the head. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, thumbs draw to heart center. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, release down. Inhale, halfway lift. Maybe bring the finger bones forward if you can keep rounding out of your spine. And exhale, hug in, release. Really drop the head and neck. Inhale, root down through the feet, rise up. Exhale, thumbs return to heart. Fill up, reach up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale. 
exhale, return home. Fill up and fold. This time, find halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Press palms into shins, lean back. We're going to walk the toes externally out, drop into the hips. Bring hands to prayer, Malasana Yogi Squat. Take the elbows to the inner knees, guide them open, and draw thumbs to heart center. Sink down deep, trying to drop it into the heels. Add a little sway side to side. Make space in the hips. Notice where you might be holding on and gripping. Smooth out your breath, arrive there. We can create spaciousness even when things feel tight, even when things feel chaotic. There's spaciousness, there's expansion. Soft, smooth breaths, arrive here. Plant the hands down, lift the hips up. Heel to the feet behind the wrists. Ground into the hands and lift the heels up, energize. Here. Try to straighten the legs as much as you can. Send the energy forward. Drop the head a little further and send the weight into the hands. Lift the heels a little higher. Good. Now drop both heels. Hover the right foot up. Step it way back. Hover the left foot. Step it way back. Pause here. Inhale. Shift forward and exhale. Lower halfway down. Pause. Inhale. And exhale. Use your inhale to pull your heart forward, flip over the feet, gaze up, and exhale, lift hips up and back, pause here on the toes, try to slow down, feel the navel pull up, feel the hips rise, stretch the tops of the feet, now step over the toes, sink into your downward facing dog, take one breath, and one exhale, Inhale, send the gaze forward. Empty the breath, bend the knees. Float into your forward fold, top of the mat. Inhale, reach up, rise. And exhale, draw thumbs to heart. Inhale, fill up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, bend your knees, plunge your hands. We're going to float back, chaturanga, land halfway down. Pause for an inhale. And pause for an exhale. Inhale to pull the heart forward. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and release. Good. On your next inhale, sweep the right leg to the sky. Find three-legged dog. Then bend the knee, peel open the hip. Start to tend the right finger bones, make space. Really allow that knee to rotate open. Good, then return it to a three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. We're going to look between our hands, step the foot through, land low. Drop the left palm down, sweep the right arm to the sky. Sink into your dragonfly twist. Good. So to tone the thighs. Energize everything together. Then start to get lighter on the left finger bones. Tend the fingers. On an inhale, start to rise up in the twist. Good. Sink low. Really bend that right knee. Long deep breath. Try to bring shoulders over hips. Try to stay open even though we're in a twist. Revolve crescent lunge. Start to gaze forward at your left hand. Reach forward. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Now take this hand to the earth or maybe find a block. Send your gaze back to the right, and we're going to lift off the back leg. Stay in your twist. Revolve half moon pose. Get lighter in the bottom hand. Find that up dog sensation. Good. Take one more inhale here. And on the exhale, sweep the right hand down. Open up half moon pose. Long deep breath. Stack shoulder over shoulder. Stack hip bone over hip bone. Take a nice, long, deep breath in. And on the exhale, take the top hand down. Walk the hands in, finding standing splits. Soften the heart over the right thigh. Maybe take one hand to the ankle. Maybe both. Challenge your body. Check in with your breath. Notice what you're noticing. Good. 
and take one more full breath in. On the exhale, bring the hands forward, lower down, find a little curtsy. Sink the left knee behind the right knee. Use an inhale to power up, and an exhale to lower down. Good. Inhale, lengthen up. And this time, exhale, lower down, keep knee behind knee. Now draw thumbs to heart center, draw your right knee and left knee in line, and start to stand up, powering just into the right leg. Knee comes up through center, reach up, and exhale, drop the left foot, exhale, thumbs come to heart. Inhale to fill up, and exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift like this. Now walk the feet out, drop the hips, Malasana Yogi Squat. Take the elbows to the inner knees, rock side to side. Good. Start to open up the right palm and sweep the left arm to the sky. Nice, broad open here. And exhale, draw them back through center, shift side to side. Open up the left palm, sweep the right arm to the sky. Good. Take them back together, shift side to side. From here, plant the hands. You can choose to either step back into a high plank and lower, or you can jump back, chaturanga from here, land on bent elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Release. Good. Inhale, left leg sweeps to the sky. Bend the knee, peel, open the hip. Long, deep breath. Opening up to the whole left side body. Just do one more inhale, and one more exhale. Inhale, lengthen back up, three-legged dog. And exhale, knee to nose, step through, stay low. Plant that right palm down, sweep the left arm to the sky. Sink low in the hips, get lighter in that right hand. On your next inhale, you're going to rise up in your twisting flow. Smooth through the breath. So to reach forward, hinge, chin, chin, look at the front hand. Take it to the earth, a gentle graze. Use your next inhale, lift up the back leg. Revolved half moon pose. Ground down through the left heel, get into the twist. One more inhale here. And on the exhale, sweep the left hand down and peel the right arm to the sky, half moon pose. Hip bone over hip bone, flexion through the back foot, light in the left finger bones. Take a full inhale here, and exhale, take the hand to the ground, walk into your standing splits on the left. Soften the heart, power the back thigh to the sky, challenge your balance. Maybe one hand to the ankle, maybe both. Focus on your breath. Find the challenge in your practice. Good. One more inhale to lengthen up. And exhale, bring hands forward. Find the curtsy, lower down, squeeze in. Inhale to lengthen up. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, find length. Last one, exhale, take that curtsy, draw thumbs to heart, now draw knee beside knee, power into the left knee, lift the right knee up, inhale, and exhale, lower the thumbs, lower the foot, fill up, reach up, and exhale, fold, inhale, find length, now bring the toes out, drop down, Malasana Yogi Squat, open up the right hand, Sweep the left arm to the sky. Keep twisting. Bring the hand all the way back around. Keep unfolding the heart space. Now five years behind you, plant the hand down. Sweep that right arm up and overhead. Long, deep breath here. And on the exhale, come down in the twist. Keep the heart open. And bring thumbs back to heart center. Move side to side. Open up. Left palm reaches. Right arm extends, take the arm behind you, plant it down, sweep up and overhead, inhale. And exhale, lower, come back through center. From here, plant hands, inhale, and on the exhale, step or flow back lower. Inhale, open the heart, 
and exhale downward facing dog. Let's take a child's pose, narrow knee or wide knee, soften down. If you're taking narrow knee, hands come around behind you, soften the forehead. Otherwise, take the knees out wide, reach the arms long, reconnect. One more full breath in and full breath out. Start to lift the head, look forward, rock forward. Tuck the toes under, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Long deep breath here. Connecting to power, connecting to source, connecting to all that is. Allow the energy to pull up through the earth. Feel everything you're feeling. Experience all your experiences. Anything you're clinging to, holding on to, that's hurting you. Breathe it all in. Open your mouth. Let it out. Good. One more. In through the nose. Open your mouth. Inhale. Right leg sweeps up. Bend the knee. Peel open the hip. Long deep breath. If you want more, Flip your dog, sweep up and overhead. Good, one inhale here. On the exhale, flip back over and inhale, full extension up. Exhale, knee to nose, step through. Lower the heel, plant the palm, sweep the right arm skyward. On your inhale, rise up strong. Good, start to shift forward, long deep breath. Look forward, exhale, bring the hand down. Use your inhale, revolved half moon pose, make it smooth. Take a full inhale. On the exhale, lower the right hand, sweep the left arm to the sky, breathe in. If you want more, bend the top knee. Open the heart, add a little arch to the spine, take the hand to the ankle, connect it, open up, heal everything, open, lift the knee. Good, return back. Move opposite directions. From here, sweep the arm up and overhead. Find the earth, standing splits. Soften your head and neck. Inhale and exhale. Take your curtsy lower down. Inhale to lengthen up. And exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lengthen up. And exhale, lower. Squeeze together. Draw thumbs to heart. Now move that left knee beside the right, ground into the right heel, and pull the knee up. Reach the arms up. Exhale, lower thumbs, lower foot. Inhale, sweep up. And exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Now bend your knees, plant your hands, step forward, fly back, chaturanga. Inhale, heart opens. And exhale, downward facing dog. Take a full breath in. Release. Inhale, left leg sweeps to the sky. Bend the knee. Peel open the hip. If it feels good, if the foot's getting heavy, flip the dog. Reach up and overhead. Good. One more inhale. Exhale, flip back over and inhale to extend the leg high. The exhale, knee to nose, round forward, step through. Right hand grounds as the left arm sweeps to the sky. Go take an inhale to rise up. And exhale, hinge forward, look forward. Find the earth. Allow the inhale to motivate you forward. Stay in your twist. And exhale, lower the hand. Peel the heart open. Flexion here, nice, broad, expanded heart space. If you want more, find that up dog sensation. Bend the top knee, see if you can find the ankle and peel everything open. One more inhale. Without slingshotting, release, sweep around, find the earth. And lift the leg high as you soften your heart. Inhale. And exhale, knee behind knee, curtsy lower down. Inhale to lengthen up. And exhale, take a curtsy. 
Inhale to lengthen, last one. Exhale, curtsy lower. Draw thumbs to heart, squeeze knee beside knee, and stand up. Draw the right knee with you. Reach the arms up, and exhale, lower the foot. Thumbs to heart center. Take a full inhale, reach up, and exhale. Draw the thumbs back home, pause here. time to experience and simply be. Notice if all those cares, all those worries feel as severe, as heavy as they used to. Let yourself start to be free. Let the burdens lift. Let the ease permeate the full experience now. In the chaos there is stillness. Finding that sweet spot in a storm. We are so strong. We are so capable. We are so powerful beyond measure. For you to be here and to breathe here, you are significant. You are worthy. You matter. Take a full breath in to reach the arms out of that. And exhale, lead with your heart, fold, release down. Inhale, halfway lift, heel to the feet out, drop the hips down, hands to heart, moss in the yogi squat. Take the right arm out, sit the left arm up and back, reach back, reach over, breathe in, and breathe out. Come back in the twist, gaze up, and exhale, thumbs connect back through center, shift side to side. Inhale to drive yourself back up. And exhale, come right back down. Shift side to side. Give yourself a moment. So to peel the left arm open, reach the right arm up behind you, plant it. Sweep the arm. Inhale. And exhale, lower down. Stay in the twist. Stay open. Exhale, thumbs connect. From here, plant the hands. Lift the hips. Heel toe, the feet behind the wrists. If you want to try crow pose, Draw elbows towards one another. Draw knees into the backs of the arms, towards the armpits as high as you can. From here, creating a little shelf. These sleeves are very slippery, so we'll see if I've got it. Start to drive the knees high, toes come to touch, lift up. Drop down, back into squat. Try as many times as you need. From here, reach the arms forward. Sink into the pelvis. Everything is open. Gently shift the hips back one more inch. Bring the knees together. Sweep the arms forward. Everything energized. If you want more, extend the legs straight. Otherwise, keep the knees bent. Full breath in and full breath out. Start to lower for 10, for nine. Take the arms out wider for eight. For seven, for six, for five, for four, almost there, for three, for two, open the arms up a little wider, one, release down, allow the knees to move side to side, allow the hips to graze side to side, if it feels okay in your body, take the feet out wide on your mat, Knock the knees in and gently windshield wiper side to side. Good. From here, make sure that you're center of the mat. I'm going to pull myself back, making sure it's visible for everyone. Draw the knees in through center. Pull the knees in together. Good. Take the arms out to cactus arms, palms face up. Keep knees hugging together and drop them off to the left. Send your gaze to the right. You want a little bit more, taking your left palm to the outer right knee. Gentle spinal twist. Good. Come back through center. Use your core. And we simply switch sides. Drop the knees to the right. Gaze to the left. Use that little assist of hand on outer knee if you need. One breath in and one breath out. Come 
back through center, pull everything in. Just for one stretch, press the heels up high, lengthen the hamstring, flex the toes. If you want a little bit more, reach the arms up and overhead, lower the feet all the way down to the earth. From here, allow the palms to come, palms face up alongside the body, Lay the feet open and away from one another. Shrug the shoulders under the spine. Relax the torso, relax the hips. Enter into your Shavasana. Final resting pose. Allow yourself to stay here for the next 10 to 15 minutes. Allowing your body to relax, to rest. Allowing the mind to fade away. So we can enter back into the world renewed.